Good morning, grasshoppers. Mr. Bruce here with today's book, which is I Wish That I Had Duck Feet. But before we start with this saga, eyes are watching, ears are listening, voice is quiet, body calm. If I had duck feet. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Here's a boy who wishes he had feet like a duck. Well, look at that. Now he's sitting out in his backyard watching all the clouds. I wish that I had duck feet, and I can tell you why. You can splash around in duck feet. You don't have to keep them dry. I wish that I had duck feet. No more shoes. No shoes for me. The man down at the shoe store... Would not have my size, you see. They don't carry duck size shoes. If I had two duck feet, I could laugh at Big Bill Brown. I would say, you don't have duck feet. These are the only ones in town. I think it would be very good to have them when I play. Only kids with duck feet can ever play this way. Look, he's in the pond. But my mother would not like them. She would say, get off my floor. She would say, you take your duck feet and take them right out the door. Don't ever come in here again with duck feet on. Now don't. So well, I guess I can't have duck feet. I would like to, but I won't. So if I can't have duck feet, I'll have something else instead. Say, I know what. I wish I had two horns up on my head. I wish I had two deer horns. That would be a lot of fun. I could wear ten hats up there. Big Bill, he could only wear just one. I think they would be very good. When I have to play ball, then nobody could stop me. No, sir. Nobody at all. My horns could carry all my books and stuff, like paper, pens, and strings, apples for my teacher, and a lot of other things. Look at all the things in his horns. But... If I had deer horns, I would never get a ride. I could never ride the school bus because I couldn't fit inside. And so I won't have deer horns. I'll have something else instead. I wish I had a whale spout, a whale spout on my head. When days get hot, it would be good to spout my spout in school. And then Miss Banks would say, thanks, thanks. You keep our school so cool. I could play all day in summer and never feel the heat. I would big, big, big beat Bill Bill. I would beat Big Bill at tennis if I could play him right off his feet. But again, my mother would not like it. I know just what she would say. Not in the house. You shut that off and take that spout away. I know she would tell me, I don't want that spout about. And when mother does not want a thing, it is O-U-T out. And so I will not have one. I don't wish to be a whale. I think it would be better if I had a long, long tail. I wish I had a long tail. Someday I will, I hope, and then I'll show the kids in town there are new ways that you can jump rope. If I had a long, long tail, I know what I would like. I would like to ride down State Street pulling girls behind my bike. I wish I had a long, long tail. 
and I can tell you why. I could hit a fly ten feet away and hit him right in the eye. I know Miss Panks would like this. She would smile and she would say, No other boy in town can hit a fly so far away. But if I had a long, long tail, I know that Big Bill Brown would tie me up in a tree and he would not let me get down. I don't think I would like it with my tail tied in a tree. The more I think about it, no, 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 a long tail is not for me. And so if I can't have a tail, I'll have a big, long nose. Just like an elephant, the longest nose that grows. I wish I had a long, long nose, and I can tell you why. I think it would be very good to get things way up high, like a cookie jar. Every kid in town would love it. Every kid but Big Bill Brown. And every time I saw him, I would sneeze and blow him down. Achoo! Say, I could help the firemen. My nose would be just right. I could help them put out fires a hundred times a night. Oh, I would do a lot of things that no one ever did. And everyone in town would say, just watch, there goes the long nose kid. But if I had a long nose, I know what dad would do. My dad would make his wash his car and wash his windows too. My dad would make me work all day and wash things with that hose. I guess it would not be so good to have such a long, long nose. Now, let me think about it. All those things I want are bad. So I wish, I wish, I wish, what do I wish I had? I know. I know just what. I just know what to do. I wish that I had all those things. I'd be a witch, a what, a who. If I could be a witch, what, who, I'd jump high in the air and splash and spout and run about. I'd give them all a scare. But the town people would not like it. They would be so scared, I bet, they would call the town policeman who would catch me in a big, big net. They would put me in the zoo house. My horns and nose and feet and hay just hay two times a day. Hay is what all I get to eat. Oh, there's the witch wad who. He's standing next to the lion who says, I've never seen one of those. I think it would be very sad when people came to call. So I don't think a witch what who. That would be not much fun at all. And so I think there are some things I do not wish to be. And that is why I think I just wish to be me. The end. So here's my question. We started out, the little boy was sitting on his lawn, watching all the clouds in the sky go by. And sometimes when you see clouds, they look like animals or airplanes or cars. Can you see any animals in these clouds? Which animals do you see? Are any of those used in the book we just read? Okay, think it over. I'll be back tomorrow, but until then, be good to your folks and wash your hands. Bye-bye.